horny one for you this week. You ever squat down and really clean your taint out? Yeah, baby. Have you ever been dropped a <laughs> next to you when you're trying to cruise? Someone just drops a deuce? And how about New York City? In New York. We talk about everything on this episode with the amazing Peter Kim. We're talking about television show developments. We're talking about stand-up comedy. We're talking about TikTok. And improv, our favorite things. Enjoy, f- <laughs> Goodbye! What? You did the option. I opted up. No, I should have opted out. You opted down. M. Oh. M. Mom. When your first choice is a big old bus, you turn around and boom, you end up with us. Happy seconds. Oh, Diva. Our number, sorry, these are not real iPads. These are bad. Our number is 213-536-9180. Uh, 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 I mean, let's Now on with the show. Ah, how you slept, you stupid little f***ing, that's a f***ing dirty little Welcome to Sloppy Seconds with Big Dipper and Meatball. I'm Meatball and that's Big Dipper. I love what your look is right now. It's it's two things to me. One, it's the like cloth? it's like Tinkerbell after she's worked for like decades and she's kind of had it. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm-hmm. And then two, it's sort of like I got ready for bed in the 60s but then decided to go out and not change. Slay. <laughs> I had a friend in New York City that would put, put on a nightie to go out. Yeah. We'd be like, we're going out. And she's like, hold on, just grab like a silk little Amazon nightie, put it on him. She's like, I'm ready to f-ing party. She could party. You can kind of do anything in your 20s. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. She'd eat uh, a potato every day. <laughs> in what way? Meal. Just as a meal. She'd say, I brought my potato. We'd go out to dinner. She'd pull out a potato, baked potato, just. And, and at just the restaurant, would a... she ask for a condiment? Nope. I think one time she stole butter. And we said, I'm sorry, we paid for that. She brought her own potato to Olive Garden one time. I'm sorry, we have a guest. What is her name? <laughs> potato. <laughs> couldn't tell you. Couldn't remember it. For Please the welcome me. comedian, writer, actor, podcaster, a jack of all trades, especially I can't believe I wrote that. It's <laughs> Peter Kim. Peter Kim. Yeah. Ow, blah, 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 I love blah, potatoes. <laughs> now, how often are you? <laughs> sorry to change the subject. Oh my god! How long am I not? Exactly. That's the sorry. easier. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, yeah. okay. Let okay. Him know. Constantly, I'm on strike. You know that. Double strikes. Right. Double strike. <laughs> There's honey. a lot. Yeah. Of, a lot of time. <laughs> Some, <laughs> if you're on double strike, someone needs to put in work. You know what I mean? Hello. Someone's someone gotta, needs someone to cross this picket line. <laughs> how's, how's your summer, yeah, how's your summer going? going? Besides being on double, double strike. strike, oh, just an existential mess, um, crisis at all times. Uh-huh. No, you know it's good. It's fine. It's everyone's doing kind of bad. So <laughs> I, I, you know, it feels like COVID again. Yeah. Oh yeah. Remember when COVID oh, hit yeah. and you were like, all of a sudden FOMO went away. Mm-hmm. That's I don't know if you guys felt that, but like I was all of a sudden like, wow, I'm free. I don't feel jealous of anyone. I'm good. You yeah. know, like yeah. that's how I feel right now. I'm like everyone's suffering. <laughs> so it feels wow. kind of like the bar has been I mean, lowered. did you feel like that at the beginning of COVID? N- no, I F- uh, FOMO has a chokehold on, on you. Me. But uh, what FOMO did you have? No one was out. Oh, someone's hiding out better or something. Oh, they, they <laughs> yes, literally. Ooh, their their bunker is nicer than mine. No, yeah. it's like they have a better house to be, you know, up quarantined in. in or oh. like, oh, they're doing community service and making masks and I'm just eating Portos, but then I ordered oh. for myself. Like, I really, I'm Portos. in con- seeking Portos self damage. So good. I am seeking self damage at all costs. Oh, yes. that's your whole judge. I'm it my really biggest is. critic. I want to, uh, what do they call? I want to throttle my own yes, self. Your Wi-Fi. Oh, I yes, your Wi-Fi. I want to throttle my Wi-Fi. I want to. Um, <laughs> I want to take my. Take You're my... the type. Do you have five G and two G, but you use the two G? <gasps> I've heard Is that the you? Yes. More do you consistent. do that? Yes. Do you do that? Oh! <laughs> do you? No. Okay. I'm 5G all the way. Oh, we do 5G for the PlayStation 5, but then 2G oh, for it. the computers. Yeah. Oh, Because like smart. he said, it's more consistent. 5G sometimes oh. goes fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, slow. That's my vibe. Oh, I'm that's very like, the on, 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 on. <laughs> <laughs> Bipolar, like my dad. <laughs> yeah. Well, now you have all this time off. Exactly. Are you like a vacationer? Are you going to go on a gaycation? Do you like that kind of thing? I like, you know, I went on a little uh, tour. I, I'm a workaholic. So like I went on Sweet. tour to the East Coast. Mm-hmm. I did 
cities that I've never thought I would be in, like Pittsburgh. I love um, Pittsburgh. Yeah, I've never been to Pittsburgh. I don't have family. Do I don't know anyone. Um, it's 446 great. bridges. There's a lot of connecting tissue <laughs> uh, in um, Pittsburgh. They have a really cool moment when you're driving from the airport and you mm. go through the tunnel through the mountain, yes. and then you come out and you see the whole city. It's and really a lot beautiful. of bridges. A lot of bridges. It's like kind of like built upon like a little shelf of a mountain. It's cute. That's lovely. Yeah, yeah and they do there. gay stuff there. It's okay. queer, artsy, artsy. Yeah, it feels like Detroit adjacent. Mm-hmm. Oh sure. Yeah. What was the place called that you performed at in Pittsburgh? City Winery. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh, but they're like kind of a. They're chain. everywhere. They're a chain. Yeah. We did a chain of them mm. from Pittsburgh, Philly. You're a franchisee. Uh, hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Miss McDonald's. I um no I th- we got into some kind of deal. We did those rooms. I'll tell you what the Pittsburgh room was 225 seats. Whoa. And we sold none of the tickets, so it was very awkward. But the people who came out was really. We fit. We filled maybe like forty seats, and it felt like, eh. but it was good. Like they were good. <laughs> oh, okay. But okay. looking out into the audience, no, yeah, that they, would I was like, insane. house lights down. Seeking like I don't see nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, take the glasses off. <laughs> True. Yes. That's what I do. I need glasses to see, and I don't wear them when I perform because I just I don't. don't I can't look at people's I don't faces. Wanna, yeah, I don't want to see how little of the seats I've sold. Yeah, but you're <laughs> doing you're doing a thing that I feel like is. Obviously, it's always existed. People um, film their stand-up sets. Mm -hmm. They record them maybe more often than not for their own self-reflection to get better. Um, You see comedians always, like, bring their phone up and, like, hit record on their voice memo or whatever. Actually, this is a total side story, and then I'll um, uh, get to my question. Uh, A friend of mine, when she lived in L.A., and this was sort of, like, pre-internet, pre-streaming and YouTube, she got mugged. And she was on her way to an editor's house with VHS and DVD copies of her stand-up sets oh, that no. she had been like putting together to like submit for a special, like submit a tape at SNL or like oh. all this shit. And that was the night she got mugged. And then she like never did stand up again. Because would... there was no backlog. It was like years. Oh. And you just think like, oh, it's just a casual bag of like tapes. No. And it's her she whole got life. held up at mug po- uh, at mug point at gun <laughs> Well, listen. That was maybe Jesus telling her to stop. No, oh, she's no. so funny. <laughs> wow, apparently not. She quit. <laughs> People's like, what would I would have gotten right back up there. What would you? What would be in your bag that would make you stop everything if you got money? Nothing. Oh, she's uh, resilient. I'm a, I've been. I've been. At I the think bottom. about this. Oh, if my your laptop. If my laptop all your music. Went away. Well, that's not the, even that. Just like all my things. Like. But that's why I don't know my email. Just back everything up to the cloud. Oh my porn! I don't don't use the cloud. (laughs) Why don't you use the cloud? The aliens. (laughs) Oh. Oh. What what about them? They're in the cloud. I don't want them looking at my texts. Sure. Okay, yeah, sure. yeah, I got so that. So what were you asking? <laughs> yeah, about? You... Oh, do you feel that the there's pressure to put comedy on Instagram and TikTok now from stand up because it feels like a trend yeah. that everyone's doing that? It is very trendy now. And I think because of the strike, we're seeing it more because mm. more people are going on tour. Right. Like I was doing that city winery tour. I have no business being in those city wineries. Sonia Morgan was playing them. You know what I mean? From the house. Oh my god! Oh. Rony, you know? Yeah, yeah. She does her little cabaret. Yeah, I. Well, I don't that's think, that's I don't Luann. That's Luann. No, but she that's calls the it a cabaresque. Sorry. <laughs> Who does? Sonia Morgan Sonia? does? Sonia calls it a cabaresque. What does she oh, do? Wow. She gets out there and she like kind of sings and dances and like walks around. Unless she's doing something else now. From what I hear, allegedly she does none of that, and oh! it's just like talking. Talking. Yeah. And it's like $100 tickets. It's ridiculous. That's but insane. I know. But she's selling out. She so, has a cabaret performance that you can stream on the Bravo official website. Hello. Thank you. you. I'm a I'll be there. <laughs> I'm a historian. Okay, so but you yeah, and Sonia headlining I, gigs. Yeah. But I, 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 just, I say that to um, bring it back to there is a pressure to put um, clips online because it's become now the thing to – be competitive yeah to like see you know it's become gross yeah like, they're like what's what do you got going on on your instagram yeah and like oh you're not 
doing stand up. Like it, it's not even like people doing stand up. It's people putting clips of themselves doing stand up. Yes. Yes. To appear. and it's weird crowd work. The crowd and work. It's weird it's crowd, crowd work. work. And yeah. it's also sometimes it's like yeah that was like a funny joke then, but it was just like a split moment. Like it's I like don't a thirty know. second thing. Yeah. And I I'm guilty of it too because like I don't most stand ups I don't think put up their sets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they're their workshop material. It. Yeah, and, or like the material you're touring because you don't want give it away for to, free. Yeah, yeah. What's that's that's why like Cat Williams, the house that's why Williams make, takes your phone away. Oh yeah, when was well, that's great. That's, when was the last Cat yeah. Williams show you went to? I know, but apparently he's on tour again. But no I'm one knows because Williams. he's like, I would go watch it. Yeah, yeah. I love I love Cat Williams. I think he's hilarious. Yeah, yes. probably do a lot of know. these. <laughs> yeah, is he still doing the? <laughs> I mean, if he can, <laughs> like Might if, as he, well. if he has that. <laughs> I don't. I didn't, didn't oh, yeah, when are you to gonna my... start bobbing <laughs> it out? I can't, I can't wait. Really <laughs> it's, <getting laughs> to, it's getting almost to like samurai position. I'm, I'm trying to get into like gay samurai. Life. I love the little pony. Thank you. Yeah. The little mini pony. I yeah. had that in college. I loved oh, it. So well, he also yeah. did a little. Pigtails. I did it in my pigtails. That look. That would look. Getting good for you. Yeah, I don't think it would look good for me. Maybe. Hold on. Maybe you could try. Meatball was saying the other day we were talking to you know Marcella Arguello. Oh How do I know Marcella? She's a stand up. Right? Yeah, yeah, she does Woman Tall. Crush Wednesdays. Yes, yes. Yeah, Tall, she had HBO mean, special. scary, very yeah, fun. Yeah. Kind of a bitch. <laughs> Super bitch. Super. <laughs> Super almost <laughs> right after she left. Yeah, she's oh. gonna take my job. <laughs> She'll be hosting this show next week. <laughs> oh, I'll be back for that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, but we were talking about this, and Meatball just casually goes, yeah, I think a lot of those heckling moments with audience members are staged. No way. Staged? I've heard from two comedians that a lot of them are staged. Some of them aren't. Stop it. But They're a like lot of friends. them are like yes. their friends in the audience, and he's like, when I say this, heckle me, and we'll say this. And then it's like Shut a up. scripted thing. Isn't that wild? Wait. No way. That I would feel like that's so like... Up would be obvious, no? It's Unless very like amazing Instagram. Actors. Maybe in the room it's attention. obvious, but on Instagram it plays like it's a real life heckler. I'm dead. I didn't think that. Whoa. The internet is fake. Whoa. The internet is fake. <laughs> You're breaking my fucking brain. Uh-huh. That's how I felt. Most, I thought most. I do the heckling stuff, or not the heckling stuff, <laughs> but the crowd work stuff so, so that I could put something on without burning my material. Yes. Of course. Genius. I didn't realize that. That was being fabricated. Yeah. Not so, all of them. Some, of, some them. of them. Yeah, some of them. Ask the aliens. Do you have names? <laughs> Not right now, but okay, I could get I'll them find. for you. I'll ask my friend. Because I want to watch and see if I could like pick it up. If you can clock it. Because yeah. now I'm going through all Well, it's going to be I... on. It's going to be uh, everyone's suggested videos and For You page. It's going to be everywhere. So oh next time you goodness. see it. I've been thinking about it, too. I've been watching Are you guys sick of it as non-comics or non-stand-ups? Are you sick of seeing it? No, I don't. I like, no, I like I it. Like it, like it, because because it feels like fun to me. And it's it just feels like entertain, like a 30-second fun clip, right? Yeah, yes. as like, long as it's not. Some of them like start going on for five minutes, and I'm like, okay, so now I'm just watching you do a type five, but audience work. Okay, so like, why don't you... I mean, please tell me if this is... Uh, oh, drag me. Whatever. No, no, no. <laughs> no I'm ready. Take no, me I work with any of the like you or like Trixie, or I'm sure you get paid way more to do your thing, but do you have any interest in she going d- up there and doing stand-up and clipping Sometimes. out crowd? Because you're so naturally funny that like, that's what these comics are doing is like, hey, I'm just being in the room with, because that's what funny. drag yeah. queens do at gay bars. Well, yes. we... But for not, no money. Right. Not right. no money, yeah. but tips. Yeah. And yeah. we get that little kind of piece of content from this show. Like, this show gets clipped to hell yeah. and put on the internet. And so we have that experience of, like, oh, a 30-second clip of us, like, chatting and being fun. Right. Uh, but at the gay bars, when Meatball's, like, hosting, the sound, cl- you can film it. You can't hear anything. It's all the people The crowd screaming. cheering for right. her is deafening. You know what I mean? <laughs> when just- I walk out, it screams. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you I need my even- ear plug. Uh, I'm over here. Yeah. Sorry, I can't even talk. You guys yeah. relax. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just me. I try to do the everybody on mute. They won't shut up. Yeah, they're dumb. Like they're they're in frenzy, of course. No, but I do enjoy watching it. But now I always look watch them through that lens of like, how scripted does this feel? Now like, I'm going to watch the wheel turning you behind ruined their head. <gasps> A peek behind do you the veil. Feel, do you, but do you feel like because of right now the. Re- <laughs> A peek behind the. the oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, not that. Um, not do the you feel like um, during the pandemic and <laughs> during the pandemic <laughs> and now because of the writer strike, there's a lot more like TikTokers that find themselves funny have like made their way into the comedy scene. One hundred percent, and I think comedy booking has changed a lot too. Yeah, it's gone to like 
instead of like, oh, you're a funny comedian that we that can do an hour, it's how many people can you bring? Have, do and you guys like know what four shows are? Five, yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Comics, that's how we, I'm sure you guys start out the same way, like, or whatever. Like, yeah. comics, you have to start out by doing, you know, cards out, you know, barking and right. also bringer shows, right? Yeah. So now it's become like everything's a bringer show. It's what? like bring your own audience here, right? Mm-hmm. TikToker or YouTuber or yep. whatever. So there's no like space for comedian anymore. Well, it's, it's like, interesting. This happens to me a lot. It, like as a music performer, when I get booked out of town, it's a, yeah. I record and okay, I perform sorry. music. Just keep going. Yeah, <laughs> it, just, I mean, uh, I mean, just int- I had to hear music I mean, performer. Well, <laughs> not loud. As a music performer. <laughs> well, what should I say? Recording artist. Ooh, that that has a nice music ring to recorder. It. As a, as a um. Uh, what about musician? No, oh. I don't really consider myself a musician. What about white rapper? Yeah, as a white rapper, <laughs> when I travel out of town, I'm often. What I always tell people is, uh-huh. I can give you a small but mighty audience, mm-hmm. or I can deliver mm-hmm. at your crowd for thirty thousand people if you're throwing a big pride. Yeah, like yeah. I will bring a high quality show. I'll be super professional. I'll turn the party and. The majority of those people will be like, I've never heard of this person before, right, but right. they'll have a great time. Right. But if you're saying, like, I'm only going to get paid on how many people Who walk in bring. the door, mm-hmm. like, it'll be a cute show. We'll get 200 people there. Right. But, like, it's not going to be sustainable. Yes. That's and what we're running into now. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And so Meatball, you know, is a little bit different. She'll give you garbage on stage, but man, will oh, she get God. bodies in that building? I will do nothing. She'll give you ten thousand people nothing. through the door. You'll get six hundred bodies right there just to watch me get up there and, and go. Fall Shut up! Out. I hate all of you. Oh my God, let me pay you for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your dream. Yay! All right, let's, uh, let's. I want you to just wear Venmo QR code. Oh, just be like. Yeah. <laughs> I, be like, write it down. Some, write it wait, there's the a girl. There is a girl who no <laughs> matter what. <laughs> Wait, but there is, before we go to break, there's a girl who, no matter what number she's performing, no matter what she's doing, her Venmo is just on the monitor behind Beautiful. her 24-7. And I was like, you better work. That's so yeah. smart. I love that. Isn't it genius? genius? All right, we'll be right back after this break. And, and you are back. Slay? Slay. I'm so glad I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> hmm. I don't Industry know if I let, if that was a, a compliment or not. Uh, Question for you. Yes. You used to live in Chicago. Oh, oh yes. Oh, I well, did. Can you ask yours? Oh, y'all did your research. Zip. Zap. Zap. Improv is your first love? In stand up's my first love, actually, but oh. t- t- I it took a left turn for me. Not a left turn. That's a usually a bad thing, right? Yes. It, it took a turn for me. I got on stage doing stand-up in San Francisco. That's where I started. Okay. And um, I took a class, and this teacher was like, you might want to take an improv class. And I was like, oh, why? I want to do stand-up. He was like, no, no, no. You're just really stiff. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you're okay. right. I am. So I took an improv class, and I just fell in love. I, you know, I, like, drank the Kool-Aid. I and, know. Yeah. Paid, Doesn't you like, feel like, like four thousand like, dollars ready for the classes? You know, and didn't feel like there was like two solid decades of hardcore improv hardcore. Kool-Aid drinking. Yes, yeah, it, it was like the entertainment cult. Yes, for a while. Oh yeah. Now it's like Drag Race. <laughs> That's the cult. <laughs> oh, Drag Race is the cult. I thought you meant it, improv it, is like Drag Race, where people are like, remember the single digit seasons? Everyone's like, remember oh, improv I mean, in the of, early aughts. Uh, you yeah. know. Well, it's kind. Of, I mean, it's clearly going down because during the pandemic, even like oversaturation. UCB, yeah, there's yes. too many of them, and then there was like all the Instagram classes that you could like take improv on and Zoom. Insane. It's wild. So Insane. wild. But that's how hot it was that people were like, I'll st- I'll sit in front of my computer. And play Zip Zap Zop for three hundred fifty dollars for eight weeks. You know what I mean? That like crazy? that's uh, crazy. Yeah. Do you think eventually there will be like drag queen school, like RuPaul's school, <gasps> school of drag? School for girls. Yes. Did you watch the new Queers Folk reboot that they did on Peacock? No. Nope. No. Part of the. Th- <laughs> did you audition for it? Yeah. No. Why oh. the vitriol? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Vitriol. Oh. <laughs> You're like, uh, do we need a reason for shame? Do we, yeah. Part of do we the, have to watch Queer as Folk again? It was fine the first time. Part of the yeah, narrative in there was like a drag school. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I think that's kind of weird because it's to me, so drag weird. is something that like you can teach techniques, but you can't teach like 
in the words of Candy Muse, star quality. Right. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing. It's like you either have it or you don't. You but can imagine, be a good performer. Imagine, right. like, you know, every Saturday, Saturday. for s- six Saturday for six weeks, like having a three hour block of time where you could like go somewhere and like play in wigs and try makeup with like other queens and like walk in heels and that sounds beautiful at in the core idea of it much like improv yes and then anytime someone makes a dollar off of it it becomes oh, yeah. corrupt oh, well, yeah. completely because right? it, like that's any art i guess oh yeah that sort of thing under the like rupaul's capitalist world that we live in would be like well who has more followers exactly. and who's getting the gigs after here and uh, are you using my feather boa at t- tomorrow's brunch yeah, because and under your contract we get five percent of any ooh, product you make more and... like 20 oh ooh. Is that well, uh, who knows? I don't oh. know. <laughs> Which did you like better? Uh, Chicago, San Francisco, San Francisco or, or LA? Oh man. Uh, as a city? Sure. Yeah. Uh I'm from New York. I was born and raised in New York, so I have a bias. You lived of, in like, every city. I lived in every city. And I, I was that annoying New Yorker that was like a city rat that was like very like, oh, if you know, if you don't live in New York, you don't live in a city, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I was very yeah, bad. Feel. Like that, It's true. It is kind of true. <laughs> but, I, but every city is different in that yeah. way. Uh, but uh, San Francisco, for me, was the most romantic. It was oh. where I came out. Oh. It was where I, you know, uh, I could walk around in those hills. I, it was just beautiful. It was like a baby gay. You know, Go to like, the park at night. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Any park in San Francisco was great. What? Yeah. Park and ride. Park and play, yes. <laughs> the sleigh button. Slag! Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 Is it Count Dracula? Slag! <laughs> okay. like, what's the least obvious way to do that? I think you found it. <laughs> so we're actually going back to New York soon. Yeah. Oh, for the show? Yeah, yeah we done. are doing a live podcast oh, okay. with um, Cola Scola as our guest. Oh, I love Cole. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been a fan of Cole for so long. Yeah, me too. Like, and I've only known them through my phone. Yes, same. Right? same. We've oh, never yeah, met yeah, yeah. them. We oh, really? Cole call, emailed them, oh, and they were like, eight. sounds great. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Where are you playing? A, uh, the Sultan, Sultan Room. Room. Oh, I don't know that. It's in Bushwick. It's They do comedy there. I think it's more of a... Music venue. That'll be then, great for you. Yeah, yeah, but we're I'm excited for that. Yeah, it'll be beautiful. Fun. So we're spending some time in New York and I'm like, I, I'm getting the start I'm starting to spread the news. I'm really excited to go back. How long are you staying? I'm staying for nine days on that Ooh. trip. Yeah, that's, that's long. wild. Yeah. I'm only going for four days. Is it in the fall? September like, yeah, in, into in September. So it'll still be kind of warm. Yeah, so what? Like Ooh. when you're Yeah. Oh. In New York, oh yeah, <laughs> in New York. I love autumn in New York. It's so cliche, but it's like it's Magnolia Bakery, sweater weather. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what would, what are your go tos? Well, you know, I grew up in Queens, so if you're going to Queens, I could hook you up. In the city, there's a couple of places. Uh, what are you into? You no, know, like, what are I'm into you fried do? chicken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, and tequila yeah. cocktails and cupcakes. Okay, well, Magnolia's cute, of course. We're gonna go to Butter Lane. It's better. Oh, is it? I don't know yeah, Butter it's Lane. It's in the East Village. It's on Fourth Street. Do you like jazz? No. <laughs> is that is that so, you so, like hot jazz? Is that so straight I of me? Do. Wait, it's, do it's, you like jazz? I love jazz. What are your hobbies it's outside more old of man than straight? I know. I'm like an old man. I'm like an eighty year old. What's my hobby? Yeah, outside of doing stand up. Uh, I like to cook. Okay. Um, I have a dog. I don't. Oh, I play pickleball. Oh God! Pickleball. Pickleball. So you're straight. So I'm straight. trendy. I'm straight. No, a lot of gays. Play, I play pickleball with all gays. Oh really? Well, there's gonna... gays. Do you know the West Hollywood um, pickleball courts? Don't make it over there, honey. Wait, you have to go. It's so cute. It's on What's the roof. What's it like at two in the morning? Oh, I don't. I've I'm never been there two in the morning, but I'm sure it gets. They're down. like, sir. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here's my pickle. There's my ball. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, what kind of sounds do you make when you play pickleball? E- uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I gotta go Steffi Graf on her, uh. you know? <laughs> wait, what are the rules? Is it like... It's like table tennis, but for like, uh, if you're on standing on a table. Okay, so you, you face one another. Yeah, it's like, yeah, exactly. What's the one where you both face the wall? That's racquetball. racquetball. But they play that outdoors with no other walls. That's not true. 
It is. No, no I think you're right. There's like Handball? squash. There's squash. Ha- there's squash, racquetball, badminton. badminton. So pickleball is. Like- I'm a racquetball. That's the only sport I get into. I'm not I athletic, but I, I, anything when with racket. You can racket. bounce it off of the four walls. Yeah, that's racquetball. And hit it in the corner so it goes like. And yeah. then you're like, you're. Your dad. Yeah, let's go to steam room. I think Do you guys, I like old do you men. Cruise? I love to cruise. I'm old school. Oh, we're getting into oh, it. Then I think I like old it. men oh, let's because get into it. my dad took me to play racquetball. Uh-huh. For my 13th birthday, my parents went out of town with me. Uh-huh. I had to sleep on a cot in a bed and breakfast with them, and I received a dictionary and a racquetball racket for my <gasps> presents at 13. So th- so this is your early you? childhood trauma. Right. No, I think they were just like, read more and be athletic, fatty. But you're 13. <laughs> I know, I didn't have a party, no Chuck E. Cheese, no like. Oh, um... I really do think your parents hated you. <laughs> I truly do. Every story you tell is like another thread in a tapestry of sadness. So. so... And your parents are great, right? <laughs> no, they're pretty terrible people too. But at least I know it. Yeah. Frogs and all. <laughs> no, so um, so then I would start playing racquetball with my dad, uh-huh. and we played at like the local community center, mm. and we would always go change in the locker room, that's and where that's where started. I saw old man. man. Yes. I started in Korean spas. Mm. My dad ah. used to take me to Korean spas. That's where I first started to see old men. And I was like, what's happening? Why am I into it? Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. as a young boy, you're like, what? What? What's going on? Yeah. Because I wasn't into like other boys my age. Right. Yeah. Same. Always Same. older. Grand always man. older. Always older here, too. You know what I was thinking of on the toilet today? Do you think hmm. me- <laughs> Do you think all humans, no matter what their sexuality, gender, whatever, either skew up or down age-wise? Absolutely. I, I think that right? most of my friends, when they're dating, it's always someone much older or much younger. Much younger. Well, what's your um, uh, difference? Uh, we're f- four years apart. Mm. Who is, you have a, you're in I'm a couple? Older. yeah. Oh, you're older. Okay, but are you you're more attractive? You're older? Yeah. Oh. I'm four years older. Than this is news. I always think of you as young. Oh. I, well, I'm younger than you. <laughs> sure. You both look great. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's a weird tension. I don't want you to no, fight. No, no I don't want you to fight. I want to talk about the Korean spa. <laughs> yeah, okay. Do you go to the, there's a Korean spa here. There's many. Of course. Yeah. But the one that I'm Korean talking spa? about is the one that has the gay? basically just everything is now, it's basically a bathhouse. Yes. I know the one you're talking about. It's fascinating that the owner hates that it's a bathhouse. Yes. But keeps. Letting it happen. Letting it happen because he makes money. And he is gay. Yes, yes, but he's like very like, oh, stop pulling the d- out. And you're like, yeah, that's look around you. This is all that's happening here. I think it's part of his kink. And then, oh, to be shameful. Oh, because yes. yeah. it's part, you know, it's this. I This is allegedly, you know, like I'm just thinking if I was the him. The hot tub in there is so big. It's huge. I'm obsessed. The okay. big one, right? Yes. And then there's the little one on the side. Which is too hot. Yeah, I but like, the, I like the scalding. I know. I love the scalding. Um, <laughs> I love that it's a part of his kink, though. I think. Don't quote me on this. Whoa, but in I'm, what way? Like, explain that to because me. Because you're a Korean guy. He's probably first generation, maybe second generation, right? Okay. He had to live in the Gen X shame of it all, mm-hmm. right? The AIDS crisis in LA. LA riots. Ooh. Black AIDS. All You know, Asian hates black. Blacks hate Asians. Like Word map. He, Do you yeah, see it? Do you see I the see word it. map? You know, like, that's where he grew up in LA. Uh, part of this, like, stress. Oh, yeah. So he has a very weird... Um, um, probably attachment. Because he's hot too. So hot. I and f- Jack. Oh, he's in that gym. Yes. You know, no one uses that gym except, except for him. him. It's a private gym. And then sometimes I just go down there. I'm and like, like, oh, I wonder if he's going to be. <laughs> if he's going to be mean to me today. But he's not, he's not into it. No. But. And my favorite thing about going back there uh-huh. is when you see the old Korean men who are there just to use the facilities. What are they thinking when they see I don't know. I haven't spent they enough they time in Korean spas. I don't think they give a f- or, f- or they don't even see y'all. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're just like, okay, it's a non-Korean person, so it's a blob over there. Yes, exactly. It's very that. Well, blob over there. <laughs> yeah. well I give blob. You know what I mean? I'm serving blob. Body like Grimace, you know? <laughs> BLG? BLG. Come on, I thought you were going to give the acronym for blob. Well- Oh, big lazy oaf bitch. <laughs> big lazy oaf bitch? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love the oaf right there. Oaf. Yeah. <laughs> but I have heard that people like do full, full in, f- in, in the steam room. Yeah. I've Why seen in that the happen. the steam room? It's going to sweat. It's, it's so going to stink hot. like poopy. Because it's the only place. There's no that other is... place to. No camera. 
Well, no, because there's so much steam, you can't unless you're right in it. You yeah. can't really tell. I can't like, say. Uh, I I don't have experience there, yeah. but I've seen it like attempt to happen, mm -hmm. and then like bang, 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 bang. You know, he knows he what's knows. happening. Like he knows what's going on. Yeah. So, do you go there? You obviously have. Been I've there. been there a few you times. Like it? I'm not what people are interested in. Same. When I'm I there, go in there, everyone's like ignore. I go in there, and all the guys is a lot of white guys who look at me and they're like oh they just see me as another 80 year old korean you know what i mean they're like they don't see age they're like oh they're that like, oh he was over the there. man squatting <laughs> he, was, he was the man squatting on the bucket over there yeah cleaning yeah his cleaning tape, his balls <laughs> which i love that technique i Squat. wish i had more squatting in yes. my life yes. what because yes. there's showers there's stand-up showers no oh we have to take you there's stand-up showers and then there's the sit down the cleaning sit -down showers area. And it's like more of like a and there's hose. like a mirror right there and a bucket and like yeah and it's all about tank. squatting so you can get in your crotch yeah. and your feet you I guys do, don't I, no I do that when I do I squat I squat down and then scrub the whole area afterwards in the shower and then what do yeah, you say you to go. yourself when you're squatting you're like look at me squeaky mom. queen <laughs> squeaky <laughs> queen <laughs> what were you gonna ask you guys ever um, cruise together. No, I hate this guy. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> There's sort of sure. a... No, I think this weekend might be the first time that we, like, accidentally see anything happening. Wait, yeah. where are you going this weekend? CCBC. Where's Cathedral that? City Boys <gasps> Club in Cathedral Palm City. Spring. Palm Yay. Springs. We're doing yes. a live show by the pool called Poolside Pleasures. Ooh. But it's also in the back. There's a, a bunkers and things that you can do whatever uh, you need oh, to do. Oh, it's like... That place in Palm Springs. That's what yeah, it is. it is that place in Palm Springs. There's like but two that's or not three Cathedral of City. them. What's well, there's right one called CCBC and there's one called All, All Worlds. Worlds. I've been yes. to All Worlds. Yeah, yeah. In the so, dead of winter, by the way, at the Palm. Well, Springs. we're going in the dead of summer. Yeah, it's gonna be. That's so gonna hot. be lit. There's gonna be a lot of men there. I it's bet. gonna be too hot. It's gonna be too hot. To their outside. their their oh. prime time is like June, early summer, and then fall. Yeah, it's good to go out tonight. Halloween is like really big. Oh, it's gonna be yeah. like 115 degrees. Stay hydrated. Out there. Yeah. yeah. So we're doing the podcast poolside. It's clothing optional. I think the majority of the people watching will be naked and like floating in the pool and like hanging out. Yeah. And I'll be there like this. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna pull Jeez. some. Guys, wear a hat, Big Dipper. God wear damn it. Hat. Wear yeah. something. All right, we gotta take another break. Oh God, already. And we're back! I did want to- the slay button. F slay. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's giving, what was it? It's like the Goonies? What's that? Oh, no, 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 no. You mean the guy with the eye? Yeah, the crazy eye when he was like, hey, you <laughs> guys! <laughs> It's a Yeah. It's a layman. I would no. just tread lightly on this Why? path of It was jokes. a character from a children's movie. Yeah, that's allowed. That's not cancelable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Kill I said me. worse. Kill me. Kill, Kill me. me. Kill me. Get the gun. <laughs> Shoot me. <laughs> so, Peter. Yeah. Um, I want to ask a little bit, because I love logistics, oh, and I yes. love things. Okay. Into it. You are a Hollywood girly in that you have, I know you're on Double Strike, uh -huh. but you have like been in development deals for like many half-hour sitcoms at tons of networks. Uh, I wouldn't say tons or many, but yes. Five? Uh, Four? Four. Seven. Four. 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 Four big deals Four. with networks. That's Four huge. Deals. It's huge. Four deals, yes. Can you just like illuminate what the basics of that means, like a development deal? Uh, it means you sit around and don't get paid. Okay. <laughs> but there's a deadline article about you. Yes, yes. No, oh, you do a... get that deadline headline. <laughs> yes, we and everybody just deadline. hate likes your thing. <laughs> and then Jealousy they... is a killer in this industry. <laughs> Honey, and I hope you die soon. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, it is... It's not um, as glamorous not, as we think it no, is. No, no, I, I, it is. I don't know what what you th think it is, but it's not. It's not like glamorous in any way. It is very. I'm lucky to have be in this position where I could pitch things, and they're like, "Yeah, let's give it a try," and then we develop the entire thing together. Yeah. Okay. So it is very collaborative. Each 
um, network uh, I've worked with has been vastly different than the yeah. other, mm. from ABC to NBC to Fox to Disney Channel. Like, it's uh, it, it, they're all different. Yeah. And it depends on the person, like the uh, development execs who are doing the thing. Some are better than others. Sure. Some are, like, clocking in, clocking out, much yeah. like any other job. So it's it, it, it's... It's work yeah. at the end of the day. But it is a cool, it's an amazing opportunity because there's potential for your stories to be on television. Yeah. So that's, I mean, Out that's of incredible. Out of any of those deals were pilots made and just not aired? Um, ones, two of them are still in writing. Though. Oh, okay. Got oh, it. wow. Um, because one was... I'll just tell you, there's one called Kim Spa. It's about uh, a gay guy who returns home to run his uh, Korean spa. Amazing. One of the episodes is like, oh, the gays are taking over and he has to go deal with it. So oh it's, it's like okay. part of the thing we talk Pepper about. Pepper spray. <laughs> I, went where, I went for a bear. But... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> bear spray. You really get some, too. Yeah. You can just go yeah. like that. Huge radius. I should do yeah. that at yeah. the club. I would just go <laughs> the audience. <laughs> Do you remember? Wait. What? Do you remember that video that was circulating online? It was at a ball, and someone walked a category and got chopped, or they didn't win the oh, category. Yeah. And then the person walked away, came back, and pepper sprayed the entire judging panel at the ball. No, bear, no it was what bear the... spray. Oh, it was no. it, was, it came out in that big, heavy stream, and yeah, she just oh, went bear. right down the thing. Gag. What the f? Yeah. Which you can buy at Home Depot. Keep it in your car if you ever feel unsafe. <laughs> Use code unbearable. <laughs> Use code. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, but so yes, it some is, is a, writing. But have yeah. you made a pilot? No, I haven't okay. made a pilot yet. I always think it's so funny, like actors who will like shoot pilots mm -hmm. and then they never get come shelf, out. never see them. They're like, oh that yeah, they didn't like it. Hard to right. get to the pilot stage, yeah. like that's almost impossible. Yeah, I, I. That's why I say I'm very lucky to even have been given the opportunity to write the pilot because mm -hmm. they. They hear, I don't know if this is all changing with the strike or whatever, but usually the networks hear a bunch of pitches, like hundreds of pitches, mm -hmm. right? and then narrow it down to like a handful or like 10 to go be like, here's money to go write it. And then you go back and forth, back and forth, notes, whatever, mm. revisions, and you come back and you finally go, ta-da! And then they go, pass. You know? oh! <laughs> And that's just like you die and you cry and then you get up and you go, here's another idea. And they go, great, go write it. So it's like, it's delusion, you know, yeah, it's wow. absolute craziness. But that is the, that's the real, basically the process. Do you ever feel like you just can't tell people about what you're working on anymore? Because it's like a lot of it when it doesn't go through. It's embarrassing. Because <laughs> that happens to me. I'm like, oh, I filmed this amazing thing. And then it's like, yeah. oh, well, I got cut out of it. So I, I oh like bragged God, about it. Fall. And now I don't exist in well, it. Was it something that you really like cared about the thing like you were on or no? Well, I, it was pitched to me as like a full length something. And then it got cut to a short. And then so you, and then I'm you still were in out. it, but oh. I was like a more of a part of it, and now oh, I'm like shit. just an introductory character. Oh, and it was and you're like excited about it. I was very excited about it. Uh, it would have been really sucks. fun. And then it was like, oh, you're in three minutes of this thing. Oh god, I was only one thing I've ever been in that I felt horrible about being cut out of because it's it was the only thing I wanted to be in, and that show was Curb Your Enthusiasm. <gasps> I got on season ten. Oh, I god. did an entire scene with. Um, Larry David and John Hamm. Whoa. Yes, and his penis. I was about to say, what okay. pants was he wearing? I couldn't even tell. Oh, was God. Just, it was just like. <laughs> and his penis. I didn't see the pants. All I saw was it fighting its way yeah. out. I was like, oh I don't God. know what this texture is. It just let it out. <laughs> you keep going, like, I think it'd actually be better if I went and sit next to John. Yeah. This, right? Can I just. Um, maybe I could, like, my face should fall. <laughs> on um, maybe onto his, his lap. Yeah. Yes. Or we should switch pants. <laughs> no. no. Um, <laughs> he, um, he, he was very. He, he was very nice. Hard. <laughs> Huge. Huge hearted. No, he was very. Very sweet and very like, oh, you know, um, complimentary to me in my scenes. And he was just really great. And I had a really great time filming the thing. I thought it was so funny, but yeah. it got cut for time. And I, my thing was the beginning of the scene. Oh, uh -huh. sorry, the end of the scene. So they cut out of the scene faster 
mm. because I was the button. And yeah. then they only showed my back in the uh. episode. And, and of course, I they don't send you an it. email, right? They send it to you the day before. Well, I was told the day before it was going to air. So it, I, I had already posted, like, tune in next week, girly. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Hey, I'm on my favorite show. And then you get dusted. Oh, my God. Bro. The amount. I, w- I, I was like, I can't go on social media ever again. Like, I felt so ashamed. Did anyone, like, say anything or notice? There were so many people who were like, hey, I'm watching. Where are you? Where are you? I'm watching. Like, DMs coming. (laughs) Saying, like. That's what I'm talking about. So that's why I just don't say anything anymore. And when it comes out, I'm like, oh, good. I'm in that. Yeah. I I try not to talk about it. You're like. It was an early mistake for me. Book a ticket to Pittsburgh. Find (laughs) one of those 400 bridges. (laughs) Hold on to some bricks and jump, baby. (laughs) Yeah, I took it there. I'm talking about a suicide joke. Yeah. Wow. Kill you now. Cancel him. (laughs) Kill him now. It's a reality of the world. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) So you were developing a show with Bobby Lee, who is absolutely hysterical. Icon, yes. How is that? Because I watch a bunch of his videos. I used to watch him on Chelsea Lately all the time. He was unhinged. unhinged. Is it still that wild? Yeah. I mean, he's grown up a lot, and he's... Come, I think I do watch his podcast. I do. I watch it sometimes. He's done a lot of like self exploration and stuff like that. So uh, he's become a a way. You're giving Pit for free over here. Oh, Ah! check it out. Not even a Patreon. (laughs) (laughs) Well, actually. (laughs) Oh, do we want to plug it? Um, No. (laughs) No, he was. uh, He's a joy to work with. He's one of the kindest people ever. A full on maniac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I love. What the first times we. Uh, right after we sold the sh- show to CBS, our studio, um, he was like, we have to go to a Korean spot together. We have to be naked in front of each other. Or I can't trust you. And I was like, okay. So we went and we just sat in the sauna naked together. I love that shit. And we, he, we just sized each other up and he was like, okay, this is going to be tough because you're bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so unhinged. Yes, I love it though. Yeah, it's like, I love that. Unnecessary. But it's like for some people that just works, it like works. just being weird, it works and, for me. and also like oh seeing if you were down to do that. Yeah, like, and I was. It could be like a test for him. I'm down for it. Yeah. yeah, I'm. I might. I I kind of present like conservative, but I'm down for it. I get freaky. Oh, I love that. 